Hey, how's it going guys? In this video, I want to share a VS Code extension with you that I think is going to help you to speed up your code development. So the extension is called Tab9. So the Tab9 extension use uh, some sort of AI algorithm. It's going to try to uh, guess what's the, the statement that I want to complete, which I'll show you an example shortly. All right, before we go into the demo, I want to first of all go to the pricing. By default, uh, Tabnet has three different pricing tiers. The free tier gives you uh, a project size limit of 400 KB. And for personal use, which is more than uh, enough, unless if you are writing an enterprise software and the project size may exceed 400 KB, then you can sign up for the professional tier. And the professional tier is $15 per month. The price is a little bit steep. But if you going to be right uh, code a lot, then the time saving is worth more than $15 per month. You can also try the 14 day free trial first, see if you like it or not. The other thing the pay tier provide that the free tier does not is the deep tap night cloud. Basically it uses uh, your PC GPU to accelerate the uh, extension performance. But that's pretty much everything I want to cover from the website. Now let's go into the example. All right, so first you want to download the extension. And the extension is called Tab9. And from the review, you got five star reviews, which is really good. And the extension has been downloaded 289,000 times. All right, so let me close this. And here I have a, a blank script. Unless I want to create a PyQt application, I'll show you how TabNet works. So when you type something, so for example, I want to type uh, from PyQt5, the Qt widgets, it's going to try to uh, suggest the statement that you're most likely to uh, to use. In this case, it's going to suggest uh, Qt widgets. I'm going to select that item and press tab. And here's going to give me a list of suggestions. And tab nine is going to put the most likely use uh, statement at the top. I'm going to press tab. And I want to import Q widget class, so I'm going to press tab, comma. The next class name is uh, Q application. And I don't see the option from my list, so I'm going to just keep typing. And as I type, it's going to uh, keep suggesting different lists. And here I see Q application is on my list. And based on the probability, there's a 99% of chance that I'm going to slide the item based on uh, this percentage uh, indicator. I'm going to press tab to uh, insert the item. And Q label, Q push button. Actually, let me go back. So I forgot to show you something. When I type Q label, and because based on their algorithm and the data that they collect to analyze, it's going to suggest Q push button as the most likely uh, item that you will insert next. So I'm going to choose Q label and Q push button and press tab. And Q line edit, Q feedbox layout. All right, so that's all the classes that I want to import for uh, this demo. I'm going to create my Q application instance. And here from the suggest list, the first item is what I want to insert. And it has 18% of chance. Oh, and here I forgot to import the uh, system module. And so you can see that when I type my script, it's going to gives me pretty much all the accurate suggestions. Oh, and here I need to create my uh, class template. I'm going to name this class data entry. And it's going to suggest keyword class is the parent class, and which is correct. And here I'm going to just finish uh, the remaining of the code. Oh, I forgot the colon. And here I want to create my label. I'm going to name my label uh, self.label car name. I'm going to choose the second option. 
I'll type car as my label name. Now TabNet is going to uh, analyze everything I type so far. I want to name this input field line editor car name. So check this out. If I type line edit, it's going to automatically guess what I want to type. And the extension correctly guess the variable name that uh, what I want to insert. And here I forgot to create my layout object. I'm going to finish the remaining of the code. So here let me just type everything first. And as you can see that when I type my code, I've been using the tab key a lot more often than uh, I used to. And here I'm going to create my data entry instance. And if I press F5 to run the script, and it's going to uh, launch my application. All right, so the extension also uh, works in Sublime Text. Here, let me open my Sublime text. I actually prefer the extension on Sublime text than uh, VS Code. And I'll show you why uh, in a second. Let's say I want to create the same application. And with Sublime text, it's going to uh, give me a list of options, as well as the, the shortcut key that when I press uh, Tab 3, and it's going to automatically insert the item for me. First, in VS Code, I need to uh, manually select the uh, the item. I can just press Tab N1, Tab N2, and like that. So if I want to create a uh, PyQt application, and it's actually much faster for me to do that in, in Sublime Text, and just because I can use different shortcut to uh, automatically select the statement I want. Right, so this is I want to share in this video and definitely give this extension a try and let me know what you think in the uh, comment section below. Alright, talk to you guys later.